Welcome to the Prime PCR Assays and Panels web tutorial. From the Prime PCR homepage, click on the Create a Custom Plate button in the center of the screen to launch the Custom Plate Configurator. The Custom Plate Wizard will ask you a series of questions to help you begin. First, select either a 96 or 384 weld plate, followed by your instrument. Next, select the species and type of assays you would like on your plate. At this stage, you can choose to use a suggested plate template or a blank template. Suggested plate templates are illustrated guides that aid in laying out your plate based on the number of unique assays, replicate assays, and control assays you would like on the plate. A blank template can be selected instead. Clicking the Use Suggested Template button will present a third set of questions. First, select the number of genes from the drop-down menu. A range is present, so select the range which your unique number of assays fall in. In this example, we use six unique gene assays, so we will select the one to six range. Next, select the number of replicate assays you would like in each sample. Templates are only available for single, duplicate, and triplicate assays. If you'd like more than triplicate assays, you will need to use a blank template. Lastly, Choose whether or not to include experimental control assays on your plate. If you would like detailed information about the control assays, you can click on the Control Details link in parentheses for a summary and link to each of the control assays. Based on the answers to these last few questions, suggested plate templates will be presented at the bottom of the page. You can click on the plate icon to view the respective plate layouts. Once you have identified the plate template you would like to use, Click the Select button to load the template into the Plate Builder. If you decide not to use one of the suggested plate templates, you can always select the blank plate template. After selecting the plate template, you'll be taken to the Search and Select Assays page. Here you will search for your assays of interest by entering your keyword in the search bar. Predictive Search is enabled. When your search results are returned, click on the Add to Assays list. The assay will be added to your assay list at the left of the page. An assay count is included to help you keep track of how many assays you have selected. If you wish to select a different template, you can click Start Over and you will be returned to the beginning of the plate wizard. To remove an assay from the list, click on the red X in the assay list. You can also add a custom assay by clicking the Add Custom Assay button on the bottom left of the page. An overlay will open for you to enter your forward and reverse sequences. You will also be asked to name your assay. The custom assay will be listed with the gene symbol of C-001 to prevent overlap with existing gene symbols. When you are finished selecting additional assays and entering your custom assays, click the Continue to Configure Plate button on the bottom left to return to the Plate Configurator page. On the Plate Configurator page, you will notice that the suggested plate template you selected is loaded. Note that the template is only a guide and will not warn you if you put the wrong assay in a well. If you'd like to remove the template and use a blank template, click the Clear Template button. You can also start over if you'd like to select a different template. For the template in this example, gene assays are in triplicate for three different samples. Click and drag to select all the wells marked 1. You can also double click the A to select an entire row. Selected wells will be highlighted in red. Click on an assay in the assay list at the right to assign a given assay to the selected wells. Continue this process to complete your plate.
Suggested reference genes are listed on the right-hand side along with experimental controls. It is important to note that control assays are not already on the plate and must be added manually. When using the RNA quality control assay, you are required to use RQ1 and RQ2 as a pair. When you have finished completing your plate, click the Save and Review button at the top right. If you are not logged in, you will be prompted to log into your account. You will then be prompted to name and save your plate. Click Save and Continue. On the plate review page, you can add your plate to the cart, or you can also add the plate to a quote. Validation information for every assay present on the plate can be downloaded by clicking the Download Validation Data button. A plate run file available in CSV format is available. To download this file, click the Download Run File at the top left of the screen. You can either save or open this file. This file contains information for loading and running a plate using CFX Manager 3.0. It also contains validation information. When imported into CFX Manager, this file will automatically populate the plate layout. This concludes the tutorial on building a custom plate using a suggested template.